Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Siobhan. So today is all about planners and my current 2024 lineup. I am usually a one planner girl, but this year I decided to kind of separate a couple things. So these are the three planners that I've set up for 2024 so far. And this one is a GM size. This is my Paul notebook cover. If you were here before you knew that I removed the buckle because it's kind of awkward when you're riding on the left side and this is the mm size agenda that I threw in the mix so I'm at a point um, right now where I feel like a burn a sense of burnout I have, I have like planner burnout if that's a thing because I I had a late start to setting up these planners and then it just kind of went downhill from there so when i started 2024 actually from 2023 my plans were to use the gm size planner for this year i even went and got my initials hot stamped that's how committed i was to it and i got the louis vuitton refills and everything I had it all set up but I find that I really like to carry my planner with me wherever I go. Whether I use it or not, it's just a thing. I love to take it with me. And this is a little bit big, especially when I'm going to the doctor or I have some place to go and I just want to take it out and write something down. It's just a little bit um, <laughs> too big to carry. So this is a setup. I did share a setup of this previously there are just some minor changes to it i did make this dashboard and this 2024 calendar with um canva so this planner was working well but for some reason i just did not love it for my daily use so what i'm currently using this for is my planner for work so here I have just work notes and my work to-do list in this section and then this is the 2024 refill for from Louis Vuitton so I did use this initially as my main planner and I like I said it just was not working out even though I use it faithfully so this is how i was keeping track of my doctor's appointments and things that i had to do while i was kind of in this like planner limbo so here you see everything and the rest of the year it was all set up with additional inserts for the rest the things that i would like to track like my home my kids my bills and things like that is all in this section that i took out this morning because I no longer want to use it for that type of planner. So I have like the self-care, the wish list, order tracker, movie, and it's blank because whenever I don't like something, I tend to not use it, I kind of like avoid it. So it really wasn't getting much use in these particular area. But for my business and for my daily planning, I did use it because I still need to keep track of my doctor's appointments and stuff like that. So out with the, the GM, it was not working for me. And then I set up a notebook, you know, last year I did use a notebook for the entire year and it worked perfectly. And the reason why I did not initially commit to the notebook this year is because I said I in my head I need to have like dated inserts I love planning ahead I love how there's like a calendar where I can flip to let's say July 7th what am I if I need to plan something for July 7th it's there so this is the notebook setup I don't think I've shared this but this is um both of these are Stylogy notebooks that I combined I purposely left one of the covers on because I wanted that clear separation. I was trying to make it like TN like, so that's why it's like that. So here we have the main cover, which is similar to 
that one once i have like a standard layout for the cover I'm, i usually keep it for everything else I created this little pocket here with some stickers and then this will be like my inbox section where I have sticky notes to jot things down when I need like something somewhere quick to write. And then it flowed into my self-care activities. These are all made from Canva. Wishlist, order tracker, sleep tracker. I must say that this planner came out so beautiful. I love everything about it, the details, the amount of things that I have in here, movie watch list, and then this is the, my book section, expanding my vocabulary and my book log where I'm supposed to keep track of the books that I'm currently reading. And then in the self-care section, this little acetate, this little vellum separates my doctor visit log. So these few pages were dedicated to, when I go to the doctor, I can put my notes there and so forth. Then it flowed into home section where I have breakfast ideas, lunch and dinner, followed by an area to keep recipes, a clean and checklist that I made online, um, restaurants to try, places to visit. And then I have some kids information here in this section was dedicated to my kids and stuff that they I started using it to kind of get a feel of it and then it jumped into my business section in here. So then this was the 2024 daily, weekly, monthly planner. I started off strong. This was my future log that I created, which is super cute. And then I started with my February brain dump. This vellum is from, I believe Hobby Lobby. And then I have my calendar for February. And then I started. So it was something when I reached this week, something clicked in my head, a switch went off or my planner FOMO or whatever went off and I instantly didn't like it. So I said, you know what, let me just, sorry. So I said, let me just start using it as a journal and it's been working out. So I've been journaling a lot more when I don't have to use it as a planner. Like I'll draw for it. So even though I haven't shared my setup, I really have been carrying along with my planner and basically using it for things that, you know, I need to use it for. And I started on January 29th. So this is the current setup in this notebook. And my plans for this is to use it just as a journal. It's a very beautiful setup. I love the construction of it. I'm going to put like a ribbon here to cover like the little imperfection here, like I did with all of the other planners that I have like this. So this wasn't working. I was just like in a planner funk I guess and then I said I want a small planner let me set up my MM planner again a super cute setup that I did this is an acetate from simply gilded this dashboard is actually tissue paper that I laminated this came in the Bridgerton happy planner collab box and then after that, you have a 2024 and 2025 year at a glance. These are the actual file of facts inserts. You can print on print inserts that already come printed. I just printed over what's already there to kind of create this floral look. And then the same thing with an inbox followed by some notes pages. I found this image on um, Pinterest, but then I real found out how to create my own. So I'm making my own now on Canva. You'll see that in a few minutes. So, because I, I can't, I couldn't find like the owner of this. I don't like just taking people's work and using them as my own. If I could purchase it, I will definitely do that, but couldn't find it, but I still used it. And then I figured out how to make my own. So I don't even need to use it anymore. So self-care activities, and then this starts my wish list, my movie watch list, and TV show, and then read and log. So these are file of facts inserts. 
and all I did was print it on top of the file effects insert. If you want to print on inserts that's already printed, like in a blank area, you just have to create like your artwork specifically for that size and specifically on the paper where you want it to print. If you want a little tutorial, I think I have a video, just let me know. So then it went into my wellness visits. I also made these on Canva, printed these on personal size paper. And then I went into the home life, started with places to visit, um, restaurants, recipe cards, and a lot of blank note pages for me to take notes and to just jot things down. So the concept of what I need is pretty much standard in all three of were standard in all three of the planners and it went to the kids section snoopy the only section that i didn't set up was the section for my business because i feel like this was the point where i was setting this up and i started to write in it and i didn't like it so these inserts are filofax minimal weekly inserts if you're looking for like very affordable inserts for your mm size which is personal or a5 size the gm filofax minimal on um, amazon they're really affordable and they don't have blue color or any type of color to kind of throw you off so i decorated the february's page because this planner was supposed to start in february as you can see i dabbled in it then i created a list of things to change in the planner to kind of help me motivate me to continue to use it and I also purchased the Filofax daily inserts so if you're using a personal size planner and you feel like the weekly pages the space that comes in the weekly planner isn't big enough to write everything that you need and let's say you have a hectic day and you want to like plan out your day I stuck the date these are dated daily so whatever day I needed, I just put it in the week that we're in. So I needed it for the 15th, so I didn't use here. I just use this for the 15th. And I didn't like it. I didn't like the ring mechanism. I think being in a notebook for such a long time, I love the freedom of just like putting my hand anywhere. And it may seem really minimal but if you are flip-flopping from like a notebook to a ring planner i'm pretty sure you have that same complaint but i do see a lot of people using like a ring bound planner and what i find they chunk their ring planners up so much where it's almost the ring is almost invisible so the planner has so many inserts in it so it doesn't really it's almost like a notebook because there's like so many pages in it and I don't want I'm not the type to chunk up my planner initially because as the year progress it is going to get a little bit chunky so I need to have that availability for later on in the year and that's just not something that I wanted to do initially because the year was just starting out it's February so then I just got really burnt out with all of my planners i kept on using the gm the daily the weekly inserts and i thought that was just kind of keeping me at bay paying the bills keeping track of whatever i need to but um ideally i love this meeting in a work sense i can take it to meetings i can jot down notes so i'm going to continue to use, do that for 2024. the mm i tried and it's not really working out and the other day I just started planning my to-do list on my post-it notes I had so many post-it notes and I kind of fell in love with just the simplicity of it so the other day I went to home to Barnes & Noble hold on I went to Barnes & Noble the other day and I purchased this notebook and the brand is, this is the logo of the brand. It's stone paper. I think it's Krauss. I'll link it. And the paper is like butter. 
it is absolutely the softest paper I've ever felt. So I purchased the notebook. It does lay pretty flat. And it's a, it was an A5 size. But I didn't want to use it as an A5 size because I just wanted to use the notebook to just jot down what I need to jot down for the day and just kind of like brain dump. I was recently in the hospital. I came out. I felt extremely overwhelmed. I, well, I'm like, I have so many planners and I am just not productive with everything that I have. And a part of it is to, you know, like blame social media, obviously, and seeing all these cute setups and then wanting those cute setups. And then we get that little switch in our head where we want to just change our entire system, even though it was fine to begin with. I truly feel like if I had just continued for 2024 in this with a notebook set up initially, I may have been maybe in a better position as far as what I'm planning on using, but I didn't. And but I but I do love the fact of just dedicating this to being a journal. I'm not going to remove everything that I've already created in the front. I'm going to keep everything and just continue journaling throughout the year. And you guys know I love to memory plan, so this is going to serve its purpose. This is going to be for work. And then this is my new creation. I'm coming up with a, a way of using this. Ideally, I just need a monthly layout and then a main to-do list and pages to create lists. This Krauss notebook that was initially A5 was cut down to... Um, it's like a five by seven. This is my custom desk agenda that I had cut down a few years ago. This is the first one that I got cut down and this is actually the best one because it, you can't really tell. The stitching and everything is absolutely perfect. I'm just really sad the shop that did it for me is not in business anymore after the pandemic. So this is going to be a catch-all notebook. I plan on this is the cover I created. This is a freebie on my blog, thiswellplanlife.com. You don't need to subscribe to get it. Just go and get it. This is also um, tissue paper that I laminated. And then this is just like craft paper. When I was deconstructing the book to get it, to take it to get cut, I kind of cut too much and damaged a part of the notebook. So I put a little tape here to fix that. And then what I plan is to do, my plan is to do something really cute here and the only thing I'm tipping in is a 2024 calendar and 2025 on the back then it will start my I'm gonna do a month calendar for March April May June July August September October November and then after that it's going to be an ongoing to-do list so it's going to be monthly calendar data that I can plan ahead, an ongoing to-do list, and my health information. And then I can add things to it as I, as I need to. Because I feel like my, the way how my brain is set up and I need to get back to just like the basics of things and honestly maybe downgrade some of these planners that I have because it's just a little bit too much and I feel like it's more unproductive than productive switching planners all the time which is not something that I used to do a lot it's just recently and for some reason this year the planner the the, the end of this year and this year is like the planner community is like on steroids with the amount of releases and new this and new that and it's just like you want everything there's so many changes everyone's using different things everyone's jumping to personal rings and it's so cute and all those chunky setups are so adorable and I'm like oh i want that too and it's just an absolute nightmare so that is my planner burnout i am just <laughs> setting up a notebook once i have it figured out i did start writing some notes as far as what do i really need to keep track of i love the book list i need to keep track of that i've been i'm ready to put the things in here because the things are already somewhere else i have a, a post um, a little notepad with things that need to be put in a planner 
Also, another thing why I don't want to use the ring planner form of the year is because I love at the end of the year having a notebook that is completed for the year. And even though you can probably purchase a little ring planner and archive this, I don't want to do that. I love the notebook. I, me and my husband flipped through the last two years the other night in bed and it was just such a really good feeling doing that. And looking back at our memories and everything we did. So I want to continue that. So if this notebook is done before the year, I'll set up a new one. And I will put tabs. I can just make it however. You might think this one may turn out like this, but this one has a lot of fluff in it. It has a lot of things that I tipped in. I'm not going to do that. I just need to have a notebook where I can come write down things out of my head have a notebook to journal. I keep in the separation because I journal a little bit more now that my daily plans are not in it. And this is just gonna be my regular planner if that even makes sense. But this is where I am. I hope to have it all figured out by the end of this week and just continue with just planning my life in a functional and meaningful way and stop in the flip-flop, which I think I have, I think I'm pretty much stop the flip-flopping. I'm going to take out the unused inserts and maybe give them to someone who wants a personal setup and uh, possibly get rid of this personal size. This, this one is literally new. I've probably had it for less than a month. So the GM will forever stay. This is my jam. That's going to be my work planner. I do use it a lot every day for work notes and things that I need to keep track of for work. So that isn't going anywhere. And then I have my journal, which is my Paul notebook cover. That's going to continue. I'm going to take it on vacation. I'm going to memory plan at night like I did last year. And I find that when my weekly plans are not in it, I tend to express more and to put more thoughts on paper, like things that are bothering me. I tend to get a little bit more personal when my personal thoughts are not in it and I don't have it with me all the time if that makes sense so that's my setup for 2024 for now and that's hopefully going to be my plans going forward and you know just a little note I know it's overwhelming because I've seen so many videos from last month where people are already burnt out with their planner it's not working there's nothing with trying something new I'm really glad that I set up this and set up the other one and got it out of my system because then it would have haunted me that to actually do it. But now I've already done it. I realize it doesn't work. I'm going to try to not make that mistake again by trying to use it again. I've set this up every year and I, I haven't used it for the last couple of years. So it's really, it really needs to go. But I also want to keep it for collection. So that's the jam that I'm in. But if you're in a planner that's not working out for whatever reason try and just go and get in a notebook and just start writing your to-do list down and see if that helps until your mind is clear enough to focus on it and i hope you have it all figured out and i hope that everything and i hope that whatever planner you pick is working for you like i said if it's not working out it's there's nothing wrong with changing it and just write down exactly what you need to keep track of and make it work for you even if it's just a notebook and this is small enough to just toss in my bag. That too. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video.